This video is going to take the unnecessarily confusing topic of the backdoor Roth IRA and simplify it for you. If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what the Roth IRA is, but I'm gonna start this video with like a 30 second explanation of why I think everyone should be maxing this out no matter what age you are. Then I'll take you through step-by-step -step how to set up this backdoor Roth IRA, especially with the updates for 2023. And then I'm gonna finish the video with three mistakes that I see a lot of people making in the Roth IRA in general, but definitely with this backdoor Roth IRA. For those of you that are new, my name is Professor G, and this is a weekly segment called Office Hours that I do where I go ahead and pick one of your questions from the week, and I answer it the same way that I do after a lecture if a student comes to my office and we just go deeper into that topic. I made this channel to make investing simplified, so let's get to it. So why the Roth IRA? Plain and simple, because taxes are gonna get worse in 10 years. And in 20 years, they're gonna be way worse. And inflation is gonna be insane. And in 30 years, unimaginable. Would you rather pay the tax on the small amount that you'll invest today, let it grow and compound to be 10 times as much and then never have to pay taxes on any of that? Or would you rather get the little tax tax break now and have to pay taxes on your hundreds of thousands of dollars later on when you should just be enjoying retirement. Yeah, I thought so. Now the Roth IRA differs from your 401k and you can have both and I do have both, but the 401k is pre-tax dollars and it takes away from your taxable income and it's something that your company is giving to you and hopefully matching your contribution and so it's definitely a good investment avenue. In a couple of the videos that I've done, I've outlined the steps of where you should put your money and how you should invest it in what order. And the 401k match and the Roth IRA are consistently things that I see people much wiser than myself telling other people to do and doing themselves. So I definitely recommend doing that. So obviously the Roth IRA is a great idea, but there's one problem. If you're making too much money, there's actually an income limit to who can actually contribute to the Roth IRA. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you all through Charles Schwab because that's my favorite investing platform, but you can do all of these steps and van or Fidelity or any of the other big ones. So first and foremost, let's talk about that contribution limit. For 2023, they actually raised a couple of different things. So let's talk about it. A single person, your modified adjusted gross income must be under 144,000 for 2022 or 153,000 for 2023. If you're married and filed jointly, then it has to be under 214,000 for tax year 2022 or 228,000 for tax year 2023. Now for the tax year 2022, if you're under 50 years old, the maximum amount you can contribute is 6,000 and it's 7,000 if you're 50 or older. For 2023, they actually upped it $500 for both. You can also see that it starts to phase out actually at 130,000 or so or 205,000 for married couples. It doesn't just go straight from 6,000 down to zero. So if your income is within any of these numbers, this is the maximum amount that you can contribute. And in 2023, it's a little bit higher of an amount and it's a different amount as far as how much you can put in there. So now if you are under that income limit, it's very easy, you just make the Roth IRA, which I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to even just make that regular account. But if you are over these limits, then you're gonna to wanna to watch closely to this next part. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through it so that you can watch the video, you can pause it and do it side by side. Now, there are going to be some steps that you're gonna to have to do that may take a couple of days because anytime you're opening up like a new bank account or something, sometimes it takes a day or two because they have to run your social security or background check or whatever um, because this is banking and it is it does have to do with money and all of that kind of stuff. So you may come back to this after each step is done. So anyway, let's get to it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to whatever investing uh, platform that you're gonna use and for me, I really like Charles Schwab, and you're just gonna to go to open an account. What we're looking for, the Roth IRA here, or the traditional IRA, and we're actually gonna start by opening a traditional IRA, just a regular IRA. So you're gonna click on this here, and then we're just going to go ahead and get started. 
So now I'm not gonna go through all of this. This is just standard as if you were going to start any bank account or even a social media account. You're just gonna put in all of your information. You're gonna put in your bank's information so that you can transfer money back and forth. And they'll probably ask you things like, how much money do you make? And what are you gonna be using this account for? You're just gonna click retirement and you can put in whatever amount of money um, it is that you make. They kind of want to just know what type of customer you're going to be. And so if you have millions and millions of dollars, they may try to sell you on some of their uh, wealth building things. Put that amount in. It won't change what actually happens there. Just get the account made. So now the exact same way that you just clicked to make a traditional IRA, you're going to do the exact same thing. Go to open an account and this time click Roth IRA and do that exact same thing. Open an account within the same platform. It'll be easier this time and go way much faster because they already have your details and it's gonna be linked. So it's probably gonna happen in the same day. So now that you have the traditional IRA and the Roth IRA opened, just think of them kind of like a checking account or savings account. It's just an account, doesn't need to, you don't need to do anything crazy. Nothing's gonna happen to it until you start throwing money into it. So what you're gonna need to do at this point is just fund your traditional IRA, not the Roth IRA, the traditional IRA. You will have already set up the bank account that's going to be, that you're gonna be able to wire money from. You're gonna go in there, click send, and you're gonna send over, let's say $3,000. And it'll take like a day or two, and then that money will now be in the traditional IRA. Now what you're doing is you are funding this account with non-tax deductible money. And the way that you're gonna be able to tell the IRS this is through a form that I'll tell you about later. But for now, just don't worry, you're putting that money in there, but it won't be tax deductible. So then once you've done that, it's actually very simple moving forward. You've already done all the hard things. So now what you need to do is you need to go to a section that will be able to move money around. Usually it says transfers and payments or something of that nature. You're gonna click on that and you're going to set up your transfer. And now I would do cash only. The, the difference here is cash is just the money that you put in. Positions would be if you're invested in something. So if you had had your traditional IRA and you invested in the S&P 500, then basically what it's saying is, do you wanna move your position, your S&P 500 to the Roth IRA? And we don't wanna go that route. It gets a little bit crazy with taxes again. So that's why I'm telling you just fund the money into the traditional IRA and then we're just gonna take the cash from traditional IRA to the Roth IRA. So we'll select account, we'll say the traditional account here, and then you're gonna select account to go to, and I click my Roth account, and now as you can see up here, it's trying to say, you know, watch out because you're doing something with non-tax deductible and tax deductible, and make sure you know what you're doing. And since you're watching this, you do know, but I do highly recommend that you check in with a CPA or a financial pro that you know, and just make sure that everything makes sense for you personally. Don't try to just do this on your own. I would definitely talk with somebody. But anyway, this is the way to do it. So it says, hey, don't do this, but oh, you could click here to complete this Roth conversion. Okay, cool, we're gonna do that. And then from here, they're just saying, okay, now we can do that. So you can select your whatever account it was, and we can move it over to the Roth account, type of conversion that you'd like, a full conversion, because we're taking all the cash that's in there. And so quick side note here, if you're looking at my numbers right here for this traditional IRA, you're probably thinking, hey, isn't this the finance guru guy, has a YouTube channel, shouldn't he have more money than that? This account is very, very old, is one of the first things that I ever made, and I was going to do a backdoor Roth IRA this year, but for 2022, I had sold my business, and the problem is that the amount of money that we made from the business sale actually put us in such a high tax bracket that we're trying to do everything we can to take down our taxable income. For right now, it didn't make sense to contribute to a Roth IRA this last year, but for 2023, I'll definitely be contributing. So anyway, all we're doing is we're taking it from a traditional account to a Roth account. It's the full conversion. You'd click continue, and I'm not gonna do that because I'm not going to move this stuff around, but you're just going to submit it, and then from there, that's it you've done the backdoor Roth IRA. So now what you've done is you've contributed non-tax deductible money to a traditional IRA, moved the money from the traditional IRA to the Roth IRA, 
and that's the back door. Now, one of the last things that you need to do to make sure and convert this whole thing correctly is to make sure that you file the form 8606. This is the form to fill out when you're making a non-tax deductible contribution to a traditional IRA. This basically lets the IRS know hey, I put that money into that IRA, but it was never going to be tax deductible, so I didn't do anything wrong. No taxes were deducted anywhere. I've already paid taxes on this money, and so I just moved it over to the Roth, and that's completely legal. So then the actual last step of this backdoor Roth IRA is actually the first mistake that I see people do all the time with this Roth IRA. And what happens is they'll put money in and then say, cool, it's in there. Now it's gonna grow a whole bunch, compound, and by the time I'm retired, I'm gonna be a millionaire. And the problem is that when it's put in there, it's just a money market. It's just like a checking account and it's not invested in anything. So at that point, what you need to do is you need to invest it in something. Just like in a brokerage account, you put money into the brokerage, and then from there you buy shares of Apple or Tesla or VU or something like that. So mistake number one that you're not gonna do is you're gonna make sure and invest that money. The second mistake that I see people do all the time is not remember that this is long-term investing. This is literally for your retirement because you can't touch the money until 59 and a half. So you need to make investments that are good for long-term sustainable growth. Some of the best things to invest in are index funds or ETFs that track a broad market like the S&P 500, the total stock market, market index, SCHD, or VYM for dividends. And the last mistake is just not putting as much money as you can afford in right now. There's no other investment vehicle that lets you be able to put money in and then it grows and it compounds and the dividends grow and our dividends are paid to you in retirement all things totally tax-free. So do yourself a favor and definitely get that money into that Roth IRA whatever way you can and start investing in some very solid ETFs and investments that I lay out in this playlist here that has a bunch of videos that I've done hundreds of hours of research finding the best ETFs out there, safest, strongest, and some of the best for investing long-term. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one.